Guys, we're getting an ant. I'll leave you alone. Look all the eggs. Big black string of them. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. What a fine spring day here in Newfoundland. I'm out with Saku. And the fishing season, trouting season opened up a couple days ago. So we're gonna go out and try to get a few meals for ourselves. Come along, it's gonna be fun. The mission is not an easy one. I'm trying to get into some secluded, remote, smaller ponds and streams. Gotta hike for at least four kilometers. Most of it's trackless. That was burnt by forest fire about 30 years ago. Last time I was in there, the fishing was good. So I hope it's still the same. You know, fishing, you're not sure what you're gonna get yourself into. Could be good, could be bad. The important thing is getting your hook out there. Fishing long, fishing hard. Either way, it's gonna be a good old adventure. And that's what it's all about. Just came upon a moose track, fair size, also fresh. Hey Sack, you checking it out? So they can be big animals, especially a bull moose. Lots of them here in my part of Canada, Newfoundland. Hopefully we see one. Big beasts of the woods. That'll be a treat. Hey Sack. Flies are just coming out. You buzzing around us now. It's that time of year, especially once it warms up. A couple more hot days like this, plus 12 or 13 degrees Celsius. They'll be coming in full force. So we're just over two kilometers in now, taking a little time out. We just left the trail as well. Now we're doing a bit of bushwhacking to get into the, the waterways. That's okay, makes it a bit of a challenge. That's what I enjoy. It'll only make the trout taste better when we get them. Just using the Canada Maps app on the phone to track us here. Still got a bit of service. That's nice to know our route. Now we're going in through here until we break out on some open areas again. Here we go, Sack. Out of way. Any moose trails in here, Sack? Sack knows where the good trails are. Okay, made it through that mess. This is a well-beaten game trail. It could be moose, also could be caribou or black bear. All three of those big game animals are in here. In here now you can really see the remnants of the forest fire. Just all dead trees falling down everywhere. Ah, what a fine smell though coming from this little marshland we're walking over now. It's hard to describe. It's a very pungent type of tiny sort of smell. 
delicious. It's medicine for the mind, body and soul. The best of it. Hey, Seth. Now we're properly out in the open country. We're going straight on through there. It's not easy going though. Massy ground, lots of holes underneath. You can't see low down everywhere. It's a challenge, you gotta watch your footing. So I'm just putting one foot in front of the other, taking my time. I don't wanna fall, hook into something. No trouble to get a big injury. I'm not in an easy place to get to. Slow and steady. Okay, I'm at the first little fishing hole. I'm gonna get my rod all rigged up. And see what what's out there. Just a silver spoon on this spinner. Got this off a fellow Newfoundlander. That's a spinner. Das D A S dash A dash spinner. Sean is his name. He makes them himself. Handmade. A lot better price than you get at the sports store, Canadian Tire, wherever you get your tackle. Good to support local. And uh, they've caught me plenty of fish before. They're proven. Thanks, Sean. Thanks again, buddy. So just a good little clinch knot there. Put a weight on the worm, we're good to go. I'll put the link in the video description down below on how to contact Sean at Dessa Spinner if you're interested in getting some for yourself. He ships them worldwide. So, you don't just gotta be in Newfoundland. Okay, time for a big juicy night crawler. What do you say, Zach? I might even give uh, that hook a little sharpening. I used it last year. It's a bit dull. So I got a little file here on my multi-tool. Just get that tip nice and sharp. Right off the bat, I got a nice one. Nice speckled trout. That's a dandy for the pan. So I got a few small ones here in this little steady behind me. I kept one, put the other two back. Now we're gonna move onward and keep fishing along the way until we get to a bigger pond up ahead. I got a few fish, Jack. How many you got? We got a beaver dam straight across over there. And we just spooked a few ducks that were here in this spot of water and they flew on ahead. I only got the GoPro with me. It's hard to zoom in and get any decent shots of the wildlife. No big deal. That's another pan size keeper. Hold them out of here.
one. Another one. Just got a nice one in. That's the biggest yet. Probably half a pound, close on it. That's a beautiful brookie. Lovely. Right now, I give them a little cut underneath their neck with the knife, let the fish bleed out, and I find they taste a lot better that way. Starting to catch a few now, I'm gonna let him go. Try to get some bigger ones. So I'm making a decent day out of it. Nothing too big there. Some nice pan sized fish. Good eating fish. Brook trout. The limit is 12 or 5 pounds plus one. I certainly don't get 5 pounds there, but. I'll go for the 12, so I need four more. Sex out there now cooling off. Taking a kiss there now. But he's splashing around. I had him tied on up there by the bag. He runs out in the water splashing around. It scares the trout away. Sometimes he'll stay in by my feet, but then he gets too excited after so long and he runs out in the pond and that scares the fish off. You gotta be stealthy and around shore. If not, you'll have a harder time hooking fish. Lots of noise. And you can say goodbye to the fish until you sit down and take a break and let them make their way back into the to the spot where you're fishing. That's what I find anyways. Flies are bad here at the moment. Especially with all them fish there on the rocks. I'm gonna get them cleaned up now. Lay them uh, here in the stream so they stay cool take a little break have a snack I also put on this balaclava it's just a real light merino wool one great for in the summer believe it or not it keeps the Sun off you and it also makes it more difficult for the flies to get in around your ears and neck and stuff and down your shirt so it helps it's actually a four season one so good for all times of year even keeps you warm in the winter. You can still see a few fish breaching out here though. One right there. They're after the flies. One of Sack's favorite activities is getting rocks out of the pond. Sharpening his teeth. I says. He's always at it. That's a heavy rock too. 
I'd say this. Geez, close on five pounds. Zach, you don't want that. You don't want that rock. What are you at? Leave that alone. You're cracked. beast. Now that I've caught a few trout, Sack can go out there and make all the racket he wants. So I just made a little rock barrier here off to the side of the stream. Put the fish there now while it sits back and has a break. That'll keep him cool. So now, it's hard to see. Sack got a nice little gash there on his paw. And I noticed this. Broken beer box. Glass everywhere, it's very old. Not fit. Someone came in here drinking beer. There's more here. Glass. Left everywhere, huh? And now, old sack of a cup pie. Love it, Jesus. People don't got a clue. Some people don't got a clue, sorry. And we got a long hike out yet, Zach. Over here, sit down. Let's see. It's a nice gash, you can't see it on the GoPro. What do you got to say, Sack? The people leaving their beer bottles in the woods. Just having a coffee, Chris. And a moose came right down by us. Is it a moose? What is it, Zach? Gone. Two geese over here now. Places on wheels. Moose were gone that way. I ran, I ran up to try to get a look here. We're down fishing in this pond down here. Little pond. This place is full of life. The GoPro got no zoom on it, only this narrow frame mode. And I flicked the camera and tried to put it in this setting. The moose were took after as soon as they spotted us. And then I came up, had a little look for them, and I see two geese landed. There they goes. Big birds. go very far. Sacks back there. They're out there now. We intruded and they're not happy. <laughs> Just 
here watching them geese now. With some trail mix and a couple apricots. I'm surprised they took off there and only landed a little ways further up. A lot of times I see them in more, much more remote places and they're and they're wild. They see you and they're gone. Definitely not landing close by. Anyways, it's coming up on 5 p.m. now. I was going to inflate the raft and go out for a paddle in one of these ponds, but I got a few trout. That's enough to, for now. Good start to the season. A couple of meals out of it. Sack got a cut par. It's not too bad. He's tough as nails. Still not cool though. So I'll have a snack and probably start making our way back out. It's been a good day though. Beautiful weather. Temperatures just crept up in the double digits there. I don't know if it's 10 degrees Celsius, 11 degrees Celsius in the sun. Wonderful. Time well spent out in the woods. Hey, Sack. He's just locked down to them geese now. Great experiences in here today. The good weather. Moose, geese, trout. None for you, Zach. Here, you want an almond or what? Right here. I just gave him a can of kippers. Smoked herring. He'll eat you at a house and home. We just left the waterway that we're hanging out around. Now it's back over this open country, through the woods, hook onto the ATV trail, and we'll be close to home then. Heather's gonna come in and pick me up. She dropped me off this morning. It's been a great adventure. We still got a little bit of work left yet though. About four and a half kilometers. That's it, nothing to it. There'll be trout for supper, I suppose, if not tomorrow morning for breakfast. Thanks for coming along. We'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. Take care. Probably the same two moves from earlier. You probably can't see them. One out there, one over there. Thank you, stay here. They're stopped. I thought I seen her tracks back there a little way. I seen Sack having a sniff. Nice little way to end the day. This way, Sack. Man, the moose can cover some ground. Quick too. Big powerful eggs on them. Sack you. Hey. Stay close now. They put in the you in a hurry. One kick. Sack's pass seems to be holding up good. 
dodged a bullet there. Could have been a lot worse. No doubt. Keep it going, Zach. 